All right, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you how I took this page in my sketchbook and added color to it. My name is Earlson and I love to draw. So without further ado, let's do this. I began with a slightly overworked gesture drawing, but I eventually figured out what pose I wanted. On a new page, I used the information from the gesture drawing to flesh out a lanky, hairy basketball player. He may not have the best shoes or haircut, but this dude can ball! Once I was done with the sketch, I scanned the image into the computer and decided to add some flat colors and this is what I came up with. Over time, as I looked at the piece, I envisioned him playing in front of a huge crowd. I knew from the start that I would use the help of a photograph for the background because I'm too lazy to draw one from scratch. I also knew from the start that I wanted the background to be enclosed in some form of vignette. And I eventually ended up with a rounded rectangle for the enclosure. I also tilted the rectangle to create more tension and movement in the image. I may have used the photo for the background, but you can see right away that I had to make some changes to make it work well. Some of those changes consist of me taking out the main characters from the image, abstracting the crowd with a few squiggly brush strokes here and there, adding some artificial lights in the far distance as well as some atmospheric perspective. When I was somewhat satisfied with the background, my next objective was to add some lights and shadows to the figure. So I clipped a new layer onto the figure and added some basic shadows with a desaturated blue. I definitely followed the cliche warm lights and cool shadows technique here. I wanted the left side of the basketball player's face to be lit, so I had the light source come from the top left of the image. I also added some balanced light in the shadow areas of the figure in order to give the illusion of multiple light sources. From this point forward, my main objective was to add more details, really polish the piece and bring it to a nice little finish. I want you to notice that my treatment of the cast shadow was very stylized. Normally you tend to see multiple cast shadows under such lighting conditions but I decided to keep it simple because I was afraid the shadows would be a distraction. My goal here is to keep your eyes on the basketball player. I eventually added some motion blur to the background so as to imply more movement. And man, I would love to see you guys guess what this dude's name is. You already know that his name ends with an NG, so what do you think his name is? Just let me know in the comment section. I kept adding more details here and there, refining the piece even more as I painted along with one brush stroke at a time. I also decided to give the guy a tattoo, so I used an existing image and played around with the blending modes until I found something I could work with. I later drew on a layer above the figure so as to unify the tattoo with the flesh.
I added some more last minute details and finished the painting off with a signature and voila! If you'd like to see the high resolution image, I'm going to leave a link down below. And I also hope you check out my online store, I have a lot of items there already at really affordable prices. If you made it this far without skipping ahead, you have my gratitude, even if you skipped ahead, thank you anyway. I couldn't have done this without you. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe for future content. If you have any further questions about my process, feel free to ask me in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to see my latest upload. Alright ladies and gents, my name is Earlson and this concludes today's video. Until next time, see you later.